Ron, thank you. We are following some breaking news out of Louisville, Kentucky this morning. Two police officers were shot in the street as they were trying to contain the unrest following the decision coming in on the Breonna Taylor case. Within the last few hours, the FBI now asking for the public's help in finding those who shot the officers. And we want to get right out to our Lisa Washington, who has been monitoring the conditions throughout the night, has the breaking details for us this morning and an update on that situation with the two officers. Yes, Heather, one suspect was taken into custody in connection to the shooting of the officers. But as you mentioned, the FBI is still asking for help for anyone who might have any information, including any video that might lead them to finding others who may be responsible in the shooting of those two officers. They both have non life threatening conditions. Now, those protests in Louisville happened last night after the grand jury decided that no police officers would face charges in the shooting death of Brianna Taylor. The 26 year old was shot multiple times in her Louisville home back in March by police officers who were issuing a no knock warrant. This is part of a drug investigation. We should point out that no drugs were found inside that home. Kentucky's attorney general announced yesterday that the grand jury's decision meant that none of the officers would be indicted on charges connected to Taylor's death. And that sparked those protests and marches not only in Louisville, but across the country. Now in Louisville, just before that nine o'clock curfew last night, there were reports of gunfire near one of the marches. Two of the police officers responding were shot Again, both have non life threatening wounds. I am very concerned about the safety of our officers. Obviously, we've had two officers shot tonight, and that is very serious. It's a very dangerous condition. President Trump tweeted last night he's praying for the two police officers that were shot tonight in Louisville, Kentucky. The federal government stands behind you and is ready to help. He goes on to say, spoke to Governor Andy Bashir, and we are prepared to work together immediately upon request. Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden tweeted, even amidst the profound grief and anger, today's gen decision generated, violence is never and can never be the answer. Those who engage in it must be held accountable. Jill and I are keeping the officers shot tonight in Louisville in our prayers. We wish them both a swift and a full recovery. Now coming up in our next half hour, we will tell you about the charges that one of those officers faces, although it's not directly connected to the shooting death of Brianna Taylor. Reporting live this morning, I'm Lisa Washington, KDKA News. Lisa, thank you. And Louisville is not the only city seeing protests in the streets. Take a look at these aerials coming from New York City, where hundreds marched demanding justice. Taylor's name could be heard echoing from Brooklyn to Manhattan. And the grand jury's decision in Louisville prompted hundreds of people to march right here in Pittsburgh as well last night. The protest started in Oakland. Then the group walked to Freedom Corner in the Upper Hill and ended up outside the Allegheny County Courthouse. Pittsburgh Mayor Bill Peduto taking to Twitter saying Brianna Taylor's death was tragic. Today, our judicial system continued the tragedy. Systemic change is needed throughout our criminal justice system. May her memory and the memories of too many others inspire all of us and provide the courage needed for change.